Occasionally, the universe gifts you with stuff. Here, I got gifted with two SATA hard drives, a 320 gig Western Digital and a 500 gig Seagate hard drive. Their condition? Definitely used, but beyond that, who knows? So what do you do with anonymous, unknown hard drives? Well, you test them. Let's get to work. For the Seagate drive, we have C-Tools. It's old, but still very useful. For the Western Digital, Western Digital Diagnostics. This is an older version that runs on a CD, which you may have to dig to find. Derek's Disk Destroyer to zero out and cleanse the drives of unknown, dangerous, and possibly embarrassing data. And finally, Linux to create a new partition table and reformat the drives. I ended up using an ex-Ubuntu DVD for this. All the software is available online for free. Although you can use all the software mentioned on a USB drive, some computers won't boot from a USB. Sometimes you just need a CD or a DVD. And we'll need a test rig. We're pulling out the Hero PC for this task. This old Optiplex can read both SATA and IDE drives, making it the perfect test rig. And with the easy to remove drive caddy, it makes changing drives a breeze. Toolless drive replacement. You gotta love it. First check. Does the BIOS see the Seagate drive? And it does! If the BIOS doesn't see a hard drive, just stop right there. It's toast! Let's see if it boots to an operating system. Yeah, no. There might be Windows on the drive, but it's busted. Let's reboot using the C-Tools disk. C-Tools does identify the drive, and it passes the quick and long test. This is a good sign. Let's zero out the Seagate. If there's any embarrassing data in there, I really don't want to know. Although D-Band did zero out the drive, there were a few non-fatal errors. From what I gather on the internet, this usually doesn't mean the drive is bad, but there may be a few isolated errors on the disk that can be written around. It's a refurbished drive, so I'm not surprised to see a few errors. It should be okay. Booting into the Linux DVD and using Gparted, I created a new partition table because without it, an operating system might not see the disk. I chose NTFS for spare drives because both Windows and Linux can read it. Next, we'll replace the Seagate with the Western Digital, and the Hero PC BIOS sees the disk. And it looks like there's no operating system here. Loading up the Western Digital Data Guard, the drive is correctly identified. And it passes both the quick and full test. We're looking good! After zeroing out the Western Digital Drive with no errors, we created a new partition table and formatted the drive. So with free software and the Hero PC, we've rescued two hard drives. These will definitely come in handy for building a new-to-me system. Thanks for watching, and remember to stay curious. <laughs>